Hey everyone and welcome to Shuriken Skills number 34 here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer aka The Design Ninja. This week's Shuriken skill is to create a pattern brush in Illustrator and I've got this piece of artwork in front of me and I'd like to create a nice border around the word season here. So I've got a rectangle already in place and I'm just going to zoom in over on the top corner of that because I like to draw these things in relation to the shape that I'm applying them to. I'm then going to tap the backslash key on my keyboard which will get me the line tool and I'll long press on that in the toolbox and choose the polar grid tool. Let's bring that out to the side here and start to draw a shape and then I'm going to hit the left arrow a few times to get rid of the dividers and I think I'll actually add a concentric circle by tapping the up arrow one time. I'll then hold down Alt or Option and Shift together to draw a shape that's regular from the center outwards and when I'm at the right size for me, I'll just release there and then release those keys. Now I'm going to ungroup these things and usually have to do this twice because of the way the polar grid is built. So I'm going to use Shift Command G, that's Shift Control G on Windows and just tap G a couple of times like so until I can see the word path either here in the options bar or control strip or here in the properties panel. I'll then change up the weight for that. So I think I'm going to take this up to about eight points like so for all of those. And then I can select the individual circles here and change those out. So I think I'll make this one three on the side there and I might actually align that to the inside, I think perhaps, or the outside. Let's have a look. I think the inside there. And if I go for this one just here, let's take that one to six maybe. And take this one actually do you know what i'll go a bit further with that i think i'm going to bring that down to about four or three there and the one in the middle i think i'll make that nice and small as well i think i'll take that to about two i think just in there perfect i think that's just about right once i've done that i'll tap a to get the direct selection tool and then just drag across the middle of those shapes like so to get all of these anchor points then either in the properties inspector over here where it says anchors or in the control strip or options bar click on the button for cut path at selected anchor points you can then just select these circles now this one will have jumped back to being on the center but you can delete all of those and then i'm going to join this one up so i'll just tap p once i've selected it click on one end and then click on the other and then if it matters to you if you want to realign those things to the inside then you can repeat that step just there but actually I think that might be better uh, actually where it is perhaps anyway once I've done that I'll tap V to get my selection tool and select that piece of art like so go to the brushes panel which if you can't see it in your layout is here in the window menu and then just drag that in like so select pattern brush from the new brush dialog and then we could give that a name let's call it seasonal just here and i haven't drawn any corner tiles but these automatic options are really handy i'm just going to zoom in here and have a look at those so maybe this one here i kind of like uh, what it's got with the auto sliced i'll try auto centered no, I think I preferred auto sliced uh, from those options there. So I'll choose that and then I'll pop across to the other side of the dialogue and choose the method for coloration. Tints will be just great for this because it's solid colors. Otherwise, it would be hues, uh, sorry, shades as well. The key color is the color of the art. So that's great. And I'll hit OK. That's it. I can now delete that piece of artwork. Let's zoom out, select the rectangle that I've drawn there and then apply the stroke like so there you are there's the brush stroke applied on top and because we added a coloration option then it's really easy to come along and click that and add some color to our brush stroke and that's it that's your shuriken skill to practice this week don't forget if you want to learn more even faster then check out my courses on lynda.com and linkedin learning Feedback to me here or via Facebook or Twitter. 
But for now, we're done, and I'll see you next week for another Shuriken Skills episode. See ya!